Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to install Docker on WSL, that's Windows Subsystem for Linux. I used to install Docker Desktop, which installs basically on WSL, but I noticed that I could get a little bit better performance on some of my Docker containers by just installing Ubuntu WSL and then directly attaching my SSDs that I wanted to use in my Docker containers, and I could format those in ext4 because they're directly physically attached uh, to my Ubuntu WSL instance. So if you want to check that out, it's actually pretty cool. Um, in the wiki here, which will be linked in the description of this video, check out the mount physical drive, and it allows you to basically pass a drive through to Ubuntu WSL, and then you could mount that in Docker. I had some issues when I was using Docker Desktop using this method. Basically, it was hard to get permissions correctly. I had to, in Ubuntu, create a Docker volume bind mount. And then in Docker Desktop, I'd have to mount the volume. It, it was kind of a pain. So anyways, in this video, we're going to go over how to install Docker on WSL. So it's pretty much the same as Ubuntu, but I figured let's just jump into the Windows uh, operating system here and give it a go because sometimes it's just easier to see it done. So we're going to open up terminal. I always just do admin and then WSL to get in there. And if you don't have WSL installed, here's a link to installing WSL and it's going to actually, there's a video and you can go uh, and install Ubuntu or any of these operating systems that you want. I recommend Ubuntu 24.04. Let's go back and we'll bring up our WSL instance. So I am logged into WSL and I'm just going to uh, type CD to go to the home directory and I'm going to clear everything out. So I'm starting with a fresh prompt here. And the first thing we're going to do is there's a big block of codes. I used to execute these individually, but you can just copy the whole block and paste it in just like that. And then just hit enter. And then because we're doing sudo, put in your password and it's just going to run everything, which is kind of nice. And with that, we only have one more command to run. So we're just going to run the install for Docker. And there's a pretty good amount. Uh, it says 300 megabytes here, but it's probably because I installed Docker earlier and then I removed it so I could do this video but uh, usually there's around like 400 megabytes. Let's go ahead and get everything installed here. It's actually really quick. And we're gonna do clear again, and we can do something like sudo docker ps, and we can see docker is running. I don't even know what the version, like dash dash version. There we go. So we can see docker version 27.3.1 is installed, and we're good to go. So you can really run this just like Docker Desktop. In fact, I don't even like Docker Desktop. The user interface is not great. I prefer to just install it on Ubuntu, and then you can install something like Portainer, which is a graphical user interface for uh, Docker, and honestly, it works even better than uh, Docker Desktop. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.